Hello, people of the YouTubes! Mind Bandit here, and I'm back. As you can see, I'm right where we left off. Though I will tell you now, I did go around and collect some more resources, found a couple more diamond, picked up some redstone, made a golden apple. Um, picked up some redstone because I thought about it and I realized whenever I want to uh, start making potions after I go to the nether, also did collect enough obsidian to make a nether portal and an enchanting table. But um, I just I realized whenever I would decide to uh, make my way to the nether, I'm going to need some redstone to uh, extend the length of my potions, or the duration, length, whatever you want to say. Um, and for those wondering, I am now trying to find my way out of this cave. Um, probably going to prove to be kind of difficult, because I realized I'm running kind of low on food. So I should try and make my way back to the surface. And... Um, you know, once I once I get to the surface, find more food, you know, move on to a new area. Um, hopefully I can find some reeds, make a book, maybe get a book, or bookcase, no? I don't need a bookcase, just need one individual book. Uh, just, I, I want to find one book so I can make my enchanting table, and then maybe, uh, oh, well, you know, I guess I will need more than one book eventually, if I, uh, if I want to get higher level in chance, I'm going to need more than one book. Now, it sounded like I heard some hissing, but um, I hope I'm wrong. Oh, hey, look, there's sand right above me. I'm glad I paid attention right there. Otherwise, that could have proved to be uh, disastrous. Alright, we're going to uh, take this down and uh, try and make a way out of here. Um, Alright. This is, uh, alright, so we're very, actually, we're not very close to where we went in, huh? But we were near the jungle. Oh, I guess I was right over there, huh? I just, I, I was looking for, uh, oh man, maybe I should have waited for daytime. But, um, I was waiting, or I was looking for my workbench and my, uh, furnace, and now I remember that I did take them with me. I uh, don't really need gunpowder, because I probably won't be making splash potions unless I make poison. In which case, I can uh, use splash potions to throw it at groups of mobs in, you know, spawners or anything like that. Um, alright. Now see, I don't know if I'm going to try and enchant my diamond sword, my diamond pick, or go for a little bit of both. Um, at this point I'm thinking my pick might be a little more useful to enchant, because, uh, you know, then I could, I could get extra resources, or you know, if I got fortune, or uh, if I got unbreaking... Something like that. But I also might enchant my bow. Because enchanting my bow... I'm um, not sure what level I need, but uh, I could try and get the infinity or infinite. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. But uh, I could try and get, you know, the one that, that allows me to not use arrows. Which would be quite, quite useful. Um, so anyway, found some reeds. Let's go collect those. See, I'm not. I'm not really afraid of fighting zombies with my sword, but creepers. I, I don't want to take a chance of getting blown up. Um, that was an accident. I'm just gonna leave it there, though. It's not like I need that one piece of cobble back. Oh, give me all that experience down there. Puts me a little bit closer to another level. Um, now see, which way was I wanting to go here? I was wanting to go that way. All right. All right. So, oh, is that a spider jockey? Um, no, no, just a skeleton standing near a spider. Alright. Anyway. Let's continue. Oh, really look, an enderman. I might go stab him in the toes. Just want to take care of the mobs right here around him first. Hey, enderman. I'm going to stab you in the toes. Alright. He didn't drop an ender pearl, which is really what I was looking for, but... You know, not in the nether. Haven't gone to the nether to collect blaze rods to make blaze powder, so... And I haven't uh, found a stronghold yet, so I guess ender pearls are kind of not very high on my priority list right now. Um, I would like to find another cave maybe soon. Um, need some more food before I really try and go delving into another cave. 
And I don't really see too many animals. Oh, I, never mind. There's a bunch of pigs and cows around, but there's also tons of creepers. And I'm running real low on arrows. So, I think it's time to, to melee some creepers. Okay, he blew up. Alright. Um, took care of a few of them. Die, Mr. Piglet. Alrighty. Kills. Oh, hey, that was a uh, fruitful cow. Very fruitful cow. Alright, so I guess I'll go melee some of these skeletons. And he shot me in the face. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I need to eat. I need to eat some chicken. Alright. I'm also going to need to cook some of this food here soon. And, um, yeah, because I only have one piece of cooked food left, so I'm going to kill the rest of these cows and pigs that are around, and I guess I'll have to cook some food rather soon. Didn't really plan on taking a break from, from moving around and traversing my map here this soon, but uh, if I have to, I have to. Oh man, that was MLG Pro. Oh hey look, another Enderman. Alright, I'm gonna go stab him in the toes while I'm at it. I mean, I know I said Ender Pearls aren't very high on the priority list, but if I can get them, you know, there's no reason not to. Yeah, see, there we go. Got one. See, I don't know what it is about stabbing Enderman in the toes and why that works, but, um... Saw it in somebody's video, and, uh, you know, it does work, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Hey, spider. Alright, see, I got some reeds. I could probably make a book. I didn't even think of that, but, I, oh, wow, I have a very full inventory right now. Alright, so let's get rid of some useless stuff. I don't need spider eyes, don't need gunpowder, don't need sand or sandstone. Alright. Let's keep going. Now, I'm gonna wait for daytime and probably kill more of these cows before I, uh... Oh wow, I think I just ran straight into that zombie. Um, anyway, but I was, like I was saying, I'm gonna kill some more of these cows and, you know, wait for maybe, you know, closer to, to noon before I uh, go ahead and throw down a furnace and start cooking up some of this meat, because it is gonna take quite a while to cook it all. So what I'll probably do is collect a little bit more cobblestone, maybe from that spot I just ran past, and um, you guys couldn't see it, but I, I gestured towards it with my head. Um, so, you know, there's that. But I'm uh, probably going to throw down a couple furnaces to make this process of cooking all this meat a little bit quicker. Um, I have enough to make a couple furnaces, so I should be fine with the amount I have now. Oh, please tell me this is not an ocean biome. Because this is the direction I planned on traveling, but I don't really want to go through an ocean biome for a long time. Um, in my testing the other day, and, and for those wondering, I, I am using a different seed than I used in my testing. I didn't want to use the same seed. Um, partially because then I would know the terrain a bit, and partially because the seed I tested on kind of blew. So, you know, I didn't really want to use a crappy seed. Um, and this seed ended up being absolutely amazing. I mean, I found tons of diamond already. Um, you know, I had, uh, had a lot of fun so far, and I haven't even played that long. So, alright, how much? Alright, that should be, that should be fine. I might not cook up that pork, I don't know. Um, depends, depends, really. I mean, it, it would be useful, but seeing as I'm not making a permanent residence, saving that inventory slot could be more useful. So, alright, let's go ahead and make some furnace eye. Eh? Um, you know what? I'm gonna make five furnace eye. Eh? And for those wondering why, it's so that I can cook all of the meat at once very, very quickly. Alright. Alrighty. Alrighty. And yes, I know I'm going very, very slow with this. 
Um, sorry about that, but you know, got it. Um, yeah, can't really cook with obsidian. So yeah, that was kind of a fail. All right, and one last pile. Boom. All right. Oh, give me back my coal. That is one thing I do need. All right. So now, get rid of this raw chicken. This stuff. This stuff. This stuff. Could have left my workbench down because I kind of need it to use uh, to uh, make these reeds into a book. All right. Made some paper. Oh wow. One book is it's quite simple to make, huh? Um, and you know what? While I'm here, let's go ahead and make the uh, enchanting table. Man, I keep clicking in the wrong place all the time, huh? Alright, so I'm going to keep these reeds to where I can make more books once I need them. Because I know I will eventually need them. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to enchant my pick. No, you know what? I'm going to go with my bow like I originally planned. Um... Alright, I want a higher level enchant, so I guess I'm going to need some bookshelves. Alright, meat is cooked. Um, yeah, I'm going to need some bookshelves, so that means I'm going to need my workbench again. And I'm going to need to make some more paper. And then, oh, I guess I need some planks first, huh? All right, let's see. That is apparently not how you make bookshelves. Uh huh. How do you make bookshelves then? All right, guys. Um, since I apparently don't know how to play this game, I will be right back. I'm gonna go look up how to make bookshelves after I grab all this stuff out of here. So, yeah, like I said, I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so I looked up how to make bookshelves, and now I feel like an idiot. Because, uh, somehow I didn't think about the fact that I needed books to make bookshelves, and not paper. And I now realize that I don't have nearly enough books to make all the bookshelves I envisioned. So, um, I think we're just gonna move on and make books later. And I'm going to take my furnace eye with me. No point in leaving them in the middle of a field, especially because I don't have enough cobble on me to make more. And, um, hmm. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and toss a couple things. You guys might be wondering why I'm tossing a couple things, but, uh, I'm doing it to where I don't have random planks and stuff in my inventory and I can just collect a bunch of this wood right here. and then just have a bunch of wood instead. It, uh, you know, saves space. No reason to have wood and planks in my inventory. Um, whenever I can hold, you know, five, you know, four pieces of wood is 16 planks, so, you know, no reason to, to carry some planks around as well. And, alright, see, 16, 16 wood, yeah, it's an entire stack of planks, so that should be fine. I do need some more reeds now, though, so... I'm going to have to keep a lookout for some reeds. But now that I have food, I can go ahead and go caving again. Um, you know what, while I'm here, let me grab some cobble just in case I happen to need it. Although I don't I don't really see myself needing cobble now that I have five furnace eye in my inventory. Um, I would like to find some more chickens as well to get their feathers so as to be able to make some more arrows. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I don't have a bed yet, do I? No, I do not. So let's make some shears. Oh, wow. Really? I could have killed you and got one. You better drop... What? Really? One again? Alright, what about you? One? Wow. Oh, you know what? Oh, that was... Alright, whatever. I'm going to get rid of that gray wool and go get another piece of white wool, hopefully. Well, yeah, not hopefully. There's, There's a the sheep right here, so I can definitely get at least one. And, uh, yet again, this is just another, you know, I can save space by doing that instead. So, 
All right, need some reeds now. Lots and lots of reeds. Um, hmm. Now see, this is where, uh, this is, you know, one of the random small benefits of having a permanent residence is I could make a reed farm and, and you know, grow the reeds I need in probably just a few minutes. But um, seeing as I'm not going to be making a permanent residence, can't really make a reed farm. And uh, almost messed up that, uh, almost messed that sentence up pretty bad. But uh, let's, uh, you know, I'll just leave that out. Um, alright, so grab, oh, look, more reeds. Oh, hey, I thought this was one stack, not three. Perfect. Alright, let's go get those reeds as well. That's a pretty cool looking mountain. And why is there just a giant flat side to it? That's very strange. Alright, none of them fell in the water, but I fell in the water. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. No idea where that came from. Alrighty. Uh, don't really know what direction I'm heading in now. I know I, I had originally, I yeah, you know, I had originally planned to go in one certain direction. I'm probably all kinds of turned around now, but it's okay. I'm not really worried about it. All right, let's see how good of a cave this proves to be. Uh, man, I'm failing with this torches right now. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a very good cave. It does look like it would make a good, you know, area to um make like a, m a minecart rail through but uh you know it's another one of those probably won't be doing it because i'm not going to be staying anywhere for too long type of things let's see i might hop in this I might, I might go ahead and make a boat and hop across the uh this ocean biome right here but if i do decide to do that then i probably won't make you guys watch because like i said crossing an ocean for a long time gets really boring and I don't want to just have 10 minutes of really lame, boring video of me going across an ocean while I talk to you guys. So, I'm just going to keep on moving. Glad there's more land. Ooh, more reeds. All right. Ooh, a cave. All right. Let's go down here first. I can always get those reeds later. Is that a creeper? I think I saw a creeper. Yep, definitely saw a creeper. Where'd you go, creeper? Alright, so let's uh, let's try and kind of make a way down here. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Alright, where's my cobble? Oh, well, I guess I did need cobble for something. Not really what I figured I would need cobble for, but, you know, hey. We don't always know what we're going to need for why. Alright, creeper. I'm just going to shoot you in the feet. Oh, did I get him? Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Awesome. Not that I'm, you know, going to collect his experience or anything. Uh, oh, I guess I will. Now. Alright, anyway. Where was that creeper? Right over here, correct? Correct. Alright, bust out some torches. Alright. See, I, I would imagine a diamond sword would kill stuff quicker than an iron sword, but it doesn't seem like it does. Oh man, good job, Skeleton. Almost called him Skeletor for some reason. Um, don't actually remember what Skeletor is from. So if you guys want to go ahead and comment and let me know, you're more than welcome. Oh man, I hope I don't die. Oh, hey, lots of skeletons. Why is there so much light down there? It's probably lava, but it could be an abandoned mine shaft, which I wouldn't complain about. Abandoned mine shafts are awesome. Oh, hey, not not my bow. Okay. Oh, come on. G ninja skeletons. I don't think I hit that guy. Alright, sorry if it's dark guys, I'm trying to kill these skeletons before I uh, traverse down this waterfall. Oh man, I'm out of arrows? That's not cool. Pick up all my arrows that I missed with. Alright, now I definitely need to uh, go ahead and find some chickens. But, I'm down here now, so I guess I won't be using a bow for now. Oh no! 
Oh man, I ran straight into that creeper. That was just bad. Oh, get the hell out of here. Alright, I'm, go I'm going back this way. I mean, I know there's a lot of water and lava and stuff, but usually when I find a lot of water and lava and stuff, I tend to find diamonds, so... Diamond is always nice. If I can find a good amount more, I can make some diamond armor. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding any over here. No, I am not. Alright. Alright, so there's extra freaking water coming from over somewhere. Over there. There we go. Come on, come on. Get out of here. Oh, hey, zombie. I just had a little bit of single player lag, which is very odd. Alright, anyway. Blessed out my torches. I'm going to grab that gold in a second. Just making sure no creepers are going to run around the corner and blow up on me. Um, yeah, I think more creepers have exploded in, 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 you know, behind me than I've killed, which is not good. Not good at all. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to go that way. Oh, oh god, oh god! Alright. Let's get rid of that freaking lava. That's just a big old empty room, ain't it? Yes, it is. Alright, so I guess we'll go back this way. See, this doesn't seem like it's a very good cave. Oh, man. I don't like trying to traverse up water. It's not very fun. And you never know what the hell is going to come down the water while you're going up it. it. Tends to be tons of mobs. But, um... Well, we got lucky that time and nothing came down the water after us, so... Oh, hey, look at that. Broke one gravel, got a piece of flint. That's That's just good... Good, uh, good luck right there. That's what that was. Alright, so now I'm going to try and find a way out of this cave. Not that I'm going to be very successful, but, you know, hey. All I can do is try. Oh, hey, more gold. Alright. And uh, I'm collecting gold. Oh, see, that's... I'm, I'm collecting gold to, uh, to get gold nuggets and make glistering melons for potions, like I was saying earlier. But, um, that also means I do need to find an abandoned mineshaft. I really, really do. So that I can get some melon seeds. And then I will have to stay somewhere for at least a little bit of time while some melons grow. So, I guess you guys will see at least a small base of sorts. It'll, uh, honestly, it'll probably just be another one of those little hole-in-the-wall things in a cave while I explore the cave, let some melons grow type of thing. But, you know, it's better than nothing. And since I need to make some torches and I want to feel safe, I'm going to dig myself a hole in a wall. And look down to where I can see if anything walks up to me. Yay! Good, good, good strategy, me. Oh man, didn't mean to shift click. I'm going to need some more coal soon, huh? Alright, now how the hell do I get out of this cave? Because that is all I really want to do right now. Oh! That was not cool. Oh, hey, zombie. What up? How's it going? How you doing? Okay, I'm going to avoid... Well, at least try to avoid that creeper-skeleton combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I know that creeper saw me. He's going to go kaboom. Well, he took out the skeleton. Oh god. Oh god. That, that that zombie just dropped an iron sword? He did. That is crazy. Alright. I'm starting to like these rare drop things. Now I just want to see somebody drop diamond or something. You know, if somebody dropped me some diamond, I would be the happiest man in the world. It should be a rare drop from, from something. I don't know. I don't know what haven't decided endermen or blazes or something probably probably not blazes since they are nether creatures but um maybe endermen then something should have a rare drop and it should be diamond um but yeah that's just my opinion i mean i'm sure most people will disagree uh and since i now have a bed let's go ahead and use it to pass this night time and i'm just digging out a little hole in the wall here 
to put my bed in. Making it three tall, three wide. I'm very particular whenever I do this. That is, uh, that is one of the things that I am particular about is my nighttime survival hidey holes are three by three by three. Three wide, three tall. Well, I guess three by three if you just whatever. Whatever. Like, ugh, excuse me, I just burped. That was disgusting. But um I oh, guess I kinda need to uh get some planks first, huh? But um anyway. I keep trying to say something and now I can't seem to remember what it was. Uh hidey holes, always the same size, as you will notice as I continue. Um, and since I'm in hardcore mode, obviously don't need to keep my spawn point, because it really doesn't matter. Alright, so, now. Um, oh, you know what, let me stand out of the way to where skeletons can't, like, run up and shoot me in the back of the head or something. Um, I'm gonna keep my bed, don't really need that iron sword. Don't need that, don't need that anymore. I'm gonna move that over here. Oh man, my inventory is starting to, starting to get kind of full. Starting to get kind of full. Alright, there's some more reeds. Oh wait, these are the reeds that I saw before I entered that cave. Ooh, an enderman. Where is he? Alright. Come here, ender dude. Did I not hit him? Oh god. He telepooped. Or teleported. Sorry, I don't know. Um, just watched an episode of Ultra Hardcore. Actually, the final episode of Ultra Hardcore. With uh, Vintage Beef, Paws on Paws, and Good Boulder Fist. And uh, it did start. It did start with Baj as well. But um, Baj was the first and only casualty of Season 2. And um, if you guys wonder why I mention this, it's because it's Beef made a joke. Or bad, or not bad. God, I can't even talk today. But, um... Pause made a joke along the lines of if 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 something certain some specific particular thing happened he would have pooped his pants, and Beef made a joke along the lines of if that happened we would have to call you poop on poop, and it was uh it was quite funny to me, and it's been kind of stuck in my head, so yeah yeah there we go. You could say I got poop on the brain, which is very strange to say, but uh you know kind of true, so yeah the hell is that? Is that just dark cave or something? I don't know. I didn't realize I was so low on, on hunger. So uh, I'm kind of glad I noticed before I started, you know, getting even lower and taking damage or something. Alright. So where's that really dark place? Is it up there or something? Yeah, it's up there. Alright. Ooh, a chicken. Give me your feathers. Or your one singular feather. You stingy chicken. Yay, two feathers. You're a polite chicken. Looks like... Oh, oh no, nope, guess not. I was going to say, it looks like there's a chicken trap down there, but I am apparently wrong. I hear more chickens. Okay, there's a chicken. And what is... What are you, what are you doing, chicken? You didn't drop any feathers, you jerk. I hear another one. Where the hell is he? I find that they get trapped inside of leaves sometimes, which is very strange. But, um, I guess it also happens to cows and sheep, so, you know, picture game Jeb. I mean, awesome game Jeb. Notch Jeb. Well, Jeb is in charge of development now, so I guess I can, uh, you know, blame Jeb for everything, good and bad. Well, even if, even if I shouldn't, I will. So there you go. I'm just, I'm gonna blame Jeb. If something is amazing, Jeb gets the credit. If something horribly sucks, I will blame him. And I have no idea how long I've been recording, guys. But, uh, I'm gonna keep going for a few more minutes. Don't quite know what else I'm gonna end up doing in this episode. Or if this will be more than one episode or not. I mean, if, if this is episode two, then obviously it's all in one episode. If this is episode three right now, then, uh, you know, it obviously got split. So, yeah. Yeah, if it does get split, I'll probably, uh, you know, be very, very uh, picky about where I split it. Maybe, maybe at a creeper hiss or something, you know, let you guys, leave, leave you guys with a, a cliffhanger, as they say. 
Um, I haven't really, uh, haven't really done many cliffhanger-esque things in my, my editing days. But, um, somebody has actually decided to go take a shower in the middle of my recording, and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is quite loud to me, because the bathroom wall is right uh, up against my wall, so it is quite, quite loud to me. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'll be back with you guys right here in, you know, next episode. See ya.